Hey, I'm Bruce Saw from The Final Pursuit and you're watching Loud TV. After we finished your wilderness, we, uh, I mean, your wilderness kind of developed, like from, it wasn't just a session, session drum thing, it, it, he had much more of an input, and we convinced him to play live, which is very unusual um, for Gavin, he's never toured of a, um, uh, a one of his sessions before, and then it just evolved, and uh, he said, right, when, let's, when are we doing the next record then, and uh, I, think I, I think I can quote him as saying he said he like, enjoyed it so much he joined, so yeah, he's just in the band now, yeah, so officially officially part of the band. Yeah, yeah. so there's four of us in the core now, so Steve, John, Gavin and myself, and uh, it was um, really, really creative, really strong, positive, creative core of, 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 of people, yeah. You know, so the songs would start with me with an idea, and then I, Gavin would, would then take that idea and, and put some rhythmic ideas down, and then extend it, you know, chop it around, send it back, and then we'd all, you know, it would all just just develop like that. So it's not quite as romantic as being in a sweaty room having a jam together, but uh, it, it, it's certainly better than a one man sitting down writing songs and then going, right, guys, play, play over this. It's much more, much more creative. Yeah. So Gavin's got a really good studio in his house, well, amazing studio, a permanent a drum kit, permanently mic'd up. So it's very quick for him to to send ideas across and uh, uh, our keyboard player Steve he, he runs a, a high-end mastering business so he's got like ridiculous equipment you know his speakers are worth more than people's houses you know so so he's always very good at giving uh, when I'm mixing he's always he's very good at, at feedbacking how it sounds and what needs to change and things like that and, and John the bass player well a bass player just needs doesn't need much so it's, yeah, it's very good. It, it just means there's no pressure of being in a studio, no pressure of running out of money. You just do it in your own time, which is, can be a curse. But in our case, it was, well, we needed it. It was six months it took. And the only way, the only reason this album was finished is because it was taken away from me. You know, they said, Bruce, you've got to give it to us now. I said, all right then, all right. So yeah, I mean, I did listen to it fresh the other day and it was, and it was quite a pleasant experience. There weren't any moments where I was like, oh no, oh, I wish it wasn't like that. So it's, yeah, I said about as good as we could have possibly made it. Yes, I mean, we all produce it together. So everyone has a, has a sort of, um, an input into the ingredients and how it develops but at the end of the day when it comes to serving it up and making it you know just doing that last tiny bit of uh, tasting then yeah that was that was me Yeah, it is a bit bleak, yeah, I must admit, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, um, I only realised that when the label asked for the lyrics, so I actually typed all the lyrics out, because they're just like on scraps of paper all over my studio. And I was thinking, oh my God, this is, this is quite a bleak, a bleak record. I mean, it does have some light at the very end, which Shed a Light does have some light, and it does, does, but yeah, it's, I mean, but it, it, that was the inspiration, yeah. And dark, you know, dark things can create good things I think yeah, yeah no I think it was it was really just looking at how things were were go you know how things have gone over the last couple of years politically it's been very depressing especially in the United Kingdom coming out of Europe um, and um, I there's lots of things with people I know relationships breaking down because and the whole social media connection that we all have has not played a good part in all of that so that's where dissolution comes from all this so it's it's a uh, quite topical I, I guess I always like to think that there's 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 a reason there's a positive outcome for for, for going over this ground you know I'm not just singing about these dark things because 
I enjoy darkness and I enjoy being miserable. I, I, want, I want to learn from it. I want to find a solution. I want to find a way to, to come out of this, this hole and, and, li- and, and be better and be happier and live, live what days I've got left with a smile on my face. That's all I want to do, really. And that's what I want everyone else to do, if possible. Absolutely, yeah, and the connection, the fact that we're all connected, the obsession with, there's a, a very sort of narcissistic element to society now where everybody's a, a very inward looking, and I think that's been reflected with Brexit, which has been very depressing. It's been reflected in the way American polit- politics is going and Eastern European politics is going. And it's and but and also in the, the way I see relationships and families, you know, it's 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 not been good, and uh, that's what the, that's what the, has inspired a lot of the of the music. Do you often read the news? Yes, I'm an avid avid reader of the current affairs. I, like, I subscribe to the Economist, so I follow the you know not just what's going on in the United Kingdom, but Europe, every all over the world. So. Uh, Maybe yeah. too much? Probably, yeah. It's getting more depressing. Yeah, I think that there's certainly a very, there's a sort of political correctness that has gone too far. Um, and it's very easy to sort of say, no, I find that offensive, therefore you can't say it. And that's, that's certainly not, not a very uh, a, a desirable way forward. You know, I think, you know, people we, we can still be offended and, you know, doesn't make it a crime. They're fine. They're fine. And, and that's, I think that they, they've still certainly got the hunger. Um, I think that the guys are just finishing a bloodbath record at the moment. Um, so uh, yeah, watch this space for them. But I was talking to Jonas the other day, and because um, well, well, Sweden are playing right now, um, so he's very into his football. Jonas, he, lo- he likes watching it. So we talk to each other when the Swedes, Swedes are playing, and uh, um, so yeah, he's, he's in a really positive frame of mind. Which is good. Will you play uh, again with them? Oh, I'd love to, love to. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they do another acoustic tour. They haven't got the hair. I can't to do the to do the metal. <laughs> Well, it's just a new album, you know, um, uh, and we don't, well, generally we just don't tend to go out with, with gimmicks, just light, a great light show um, and a great sound and a great performance, obviously. Yes, yes, some more shows ne- early next year and then over to the USA, I think. Yeah, so all go. Yeah, a lot, lot, lot coming up. Is it a great market for you, or the US? It is, yeah, yeah, it's our, pr- it's our biggest in terms of streaming. So when we look at our streaming stats, it's America, but then it's a big place. That's the thing, can't play everywhere. So we, to, we won't know till we land, so it's a big risk. So you just don't know. Mm-hmm.